Dr. Sella here and I have been all over the country uh, running camps and I haven't had a chance to really make a video so I figured I'd make one here while I had an opportunity. When you get into the heavy formation, you bring the tackle over from the one side to another and you put them three and a half feet away from the other tackle. What this does is it creates an extra gap. Defense has to make a decision how they declare what you're doing and that's that. So basically when you get a three technique, you want to run the midline to it. Uh, it's one of the many things you can do, but this is what we're covering here. So what happens is the guard's going to veer inside and he's going to get his left knee through the crotch of the mic. If the mic runs over the top, he doesn't chase him, he replaces him and blocks the safety. The center and the backside guard are going to double team the action key, which is the first defensive lineman inside the three. They're going to get their near knees with the crotch, near hand to the stomach, toes north, while the backside tackle sprints his belly button to the hip of the guard, thereby canceling the backside B gap. The two tackles are going to fan the C and D gap players respectively. They'll step with their inside foot, they'll get their heels past their heels of those defenders, and they'll anchor down and drive them out of bounds. The play side A back is going to step with his left foot first, and he's going to get his left knee through the crotch of the mic. If the guard blocks the mic, he's going to look for the overhang. If the overhang is canceled, or the corner in this case, he could end up on the free safety. So it's inside out deep. The lead tells the backside A back that the cadence is down, ready, set, hunt. On the Y and ready, he's going to hammer, take two diagonal steps, turn up through the inside leg of the play side tackle, and he'll block the mic to the overhang to the free safety. So you're going to get everybody canceled. And it's a two-on-one against the three technique where the quarterback takes the snap, jumps to the backside A gap, points the ball. The B-back runs a straight line through the ball, and it's his ball unless the three technique tackles the B-back. And if that's the case, the quarterback reseats the ball, steps with his play side foot, replaces the three technique and scores. It's a basic play. It's been around for a long time, but running out of the heavy formation definitely makes it interesting. And if it's a team that runs it even front, oftentimes they'll declare uh, they'll put the three technique to the side where there's more people. So that's good. Then you know where the three is, and then you make sure that he doesn't make the tackle by running the midline. And that's that. All right, coaches, hope all is doing well. Hope all y'all are doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Want to become a client? Give me a call, 570-332-0265.